Hi everybody, it's Jill with Mommy Vignettes and I'm excited to do a video today. This is actually a viewer request to do some a series of videos on um, childhood development and good ways to educate your kids through different stages throughout their first year and even beyond. So um, I found that kind of stimulating and entertaining my daughter and stimulating her when she was a newborn and throughout her first year wasn't that difficult. Um, we had plenty of toys and things to keep her entertained. Now that she's 18 months old, I'm finding it's a little harder to find activities and educational toys for her. So if you guys have any um, advice on where to find some activities and different um, toys or products that I can use, um, just really activities. I'm looking for things that are free that I can just do around our house with my daughter. Um, that would be great if you can share that. So anything for like a toddler because she's getting, you know, I'm wanting to teach her colors and numbers and letters and things like that. Um, she doesn't talk very much yet, but I'm just kind of trying it, finding that it's hard to keep her entertained at this age. So, um, so today I'm just going to do a quick video on um, kind of things to simulate and um, kind of entertain your newborn. So this will be zero to three months of age, and then I'll probably do one a video on three to six months, six to nine, nine to twelve, and those kind of things, and then twelve to eighteen months. So um, I'll be working on those as we go along. So this one today is just zero to three months. So that's when your baby's just a newborn, fresh home, and you're trying to learn the ins and outs of being a new mom or juggle a new uh, new baby with um, other kids living at home. So um, just to start off, I just wanted to show you some different resources where I got some of my information from. Um, as well as just good things to have on hand that talk about childhood development. So first couple of books that I would recommend, um, this first one, I'm sure you've all heard of the What to Expect series, and there's What to Expect when you're expecting, and then What to Expect during um, the first year, and What to Expect the second year. So there's lots of these books, and this one's What to Expect the first year, and I found this really helpful, and I got this for free. I think somebody just gave it to me, and I don't think it's the most updated version, but you can get these from the library. Um, so I would go spend a lot of money on it because you can get it for free or really cheap lots of places. But this was a really good guide for me. It talks all about the different stages and what to expect um, at different stages of your baby's first year. And this specifically talks about different developmental milestones that they should reach um, during each stage within the first year. So this was a great resource for me. And then the other book that I have almost read front to back um, is this book. It's The Huggies. Um, the um, that says the complete and authoritative guide caring for your baby and young child birth to age five and this is recommended by the American Academy of Pediatrics and this is a wonderful book I've looked in this book several several times and it goes all the way up to age five I love that there's a section in the back on um, different illnesses and symptoms and what to do for that and it specifically goes through um, different milestones developmentally that your child should be meeting whether that's um, visual milestones or motor skills, um, different things like that, and it gives you different suggestions for toys and products that you can use to help stimulate your child at different ages. So I would recommend this book for sure, and I'll put all the information on these books down below so you can check that out. So getting on to the zero to three month stage, um, at this stage they don't really need a lot of um, toys and things, they really can be entertained a lot by just your face and doing simple activities with your baby. So to start off, until they're about two months old, your baby can't even see more than about 12 inches away. So if you're across the room, they're not really going to be able to see you or focus on you until they're about two months old. Um, one thing that babies do love are bold, bright colors and contrasting patterns, so things like white, black, and red colors really stick out to them, really bold and contrasting colors, and then patterns. So you'll see a lot of baby toys and baby play mats that have tons of different um, patterns, floral, checkered, polka dots, all sorts of different things. And babies will really um, grasp onto that and they love to focus on those kind of things. So the one thing you can remember for educating and stimulating your newborn zero to three months are the three M's. So you have music boxes or music, mobiles, and mirrors. So babies love those three M's, um, especially mirrors. If you have a little mirror, and I have one, I couldn't find it, with a little handle they love, they can grasp onto that, they can clasp and close their hand um, when they're newborn so they can hold on to things, they can look in the mirror, they love that, looking at their, you know, um, 
reflection really close. Mobiles are great, um, and music. They love listening to the music, so those are great things. Also, some toys you can get for them, um, just little plush toys and things that make noise that they can grasp onto. Anything small like that, little rattles are perfect. We have a little rattle. This one's a little bit big. You can get smaller rattles with smaller handles, but they can hold on to those and shake it, and it makes noise, and they love that. And then this is just an example of just some different contrasting colors and patterns that babies love and different textures. Okay, so your baby zero to three months is not going to be able to crawl or sit up or move around really. So even if you don't have a lot of toys, you can just do simple activities with them like laying them down, um, you know, in their crib or on their um, diaper changing table or on your lap and just doing simple little, you know, like playing peekaboo with them, massaging their arms and their hands, um, just kind of touching their body, smiling, doing different facial expressions really close to their face. They love all those kinds of things. That would really help to stimulate them. Um, you can sing to your baby, simply talking to your baby. They love those kinds of, kinds of things. Um, and then you always want to be careful that things that you do have your baby play with, that they're, they won't break and that... Um, you know, they're really soft, so if the baby's holding it and they drop it on themselves, it's not going to hurt or have any um, sharp edges or anything like that. And then the other thing that I would recommend is getting some type of activity mat. And there's a ton of different kinds, um, and mine's packed away in our basement, so I didn't get it out. But I can link you below to the one that we did get. We got it at Babies R Us, and it was like $30. They have activity mats that are up to like $100, and I did not want to spend $100. So we spent about $25 to $30 on one, and it was perfect. It has a soft mat on the bottom. It has um, four um, like stability things that come up, and then from the top it ha hangs some little plush toys. And we she could do tummy time on the on the mat or she could get on her back and look up at the things dangling and that would keep her entertained for a long time. She loved that. And sometimes I'd kind of crawl under there and lay with her. So she loved that. So those are just some ideas for um, some things you can do to entertain and stimulate um, your baby from zero to three months of age. And then just one thing to keep in mind as well as a final note, that all babies develop um, differently and at different stages. So some babies obviously walk as early as like eight months and some don't walk until 18 months. Some sit up sooner than others. Some start to crawl. So, you know, that's why I like these books. They just gave kind of a general, this is what your baby should be doing within this time period. And these are some warning signs if your baby isn't meeting these developmental milestones. So if your baby's not doing a certain task at a certain time, it's probably okay and you can give them a little leeway. So. If you guys have any questions, please give me more video ideas. I would love it. Um, and if you like this video, let me know and comment below, especially if you have ideas for activities to do with your baby that, that work and with your toddler. I would love to know that. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye.